Okay. Hi, I'm Mouse510. Uh, I go by Mouse. Uh, I make street art. I make small doors and uh, I decorate them different ways. I collaborate with artists around the world and I put them up in disused places. I was using Google Street View and I was exploring a back alley in Paris. And while I was looking around in this back alley using Google Street View, I saw a big stencil, big purple hippopotamus stencil on a wall. Looked around Paris for others of that same thing and I found every time I would find one by them, I would find others by these other artists. Uh, I later found out this was like a kind of a movement, I think, back during the 80s, um, the stencil movement. So I became really interested in tracking that down. I go to Paris fairly regularly, so the first and the next time I was in Paris, I took pictures of those, found other street art. So I took lots and lots and lots and lots of pictures. Um, and I would go back year after year and I would take lots of pictures. And, and um, it was, I was more like a, I was more like a, um, uh, someone who follows sports or football, right? I followed street art and the specific artists. And yeah, big, big time fan, right? So I was collecting ideas of stuff that would be really cool to do. Um, but I couldn't see myself doing it. And I had this preconception of, of art in that in order to do art, you have to be good at art. I was in London, in the Shoreditch area, and I was just poking around, specifically looking for, for, for street art. And I saw this um, foam rubber, like neoprene uh, shape. It was about a quarter, a, 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 about a size of a, of, a, of a book. It was so simple, just so simple. And um, I, it kind of kicked me over the edge of, okay, I, I, I can do something. I can start simple. Because it was simple, but it was, it was really cool. <laughs> yeah. One of the earlier doors that I did was kind of a shout out, thank you to him. Um, and I did want that character on one of my doors because the door's the same, same shape. And uh, he sent me a text. He said, thank you. Um, he was living, he's an artist in Poland. Um, we started texting back and forth. And uh, um, through the, the texting, we became, I think, pretty good friends. I mean, there, there are nights where we've spent a couple hours texting back and forth. And, um, we've done numerous collaborations. Um, one day, I, the, back then I was putting them up in the dark of night because I was convinced I was going to be arrested and thrown in jail for life. And uh, um, so I'd put them up in the middle of the night and the next morning I'd go by and take pictures of them. And one morning I came by to take a picture and a woman walking her dog says, are you part of the Facebook group? I'm like, what Facebook group? And she said there was a Facebook group that was crowdsourcing the locations of all of the doors. Like, like there's almost 2,000 people in this Facebook group and they've got maps and they've got infrastructure and... <laughs> yep. Startled the first time I found out that there were a lot of people that were paying attention to them. I didn't think anybody was noticing them. I'm not, I'm not what people expect to be going out and doing these kinds of things, right? Which is to my advantage. <laughs> not an artist. I, I mean, I, I call myself an artist now. That was the funniest thing is for probably first year and a half of doing this. Um, I, I described myself as someone who does art. I couldn't even use that word artist because it felt so pretentious or posing or taking on a mantle that I wasn't, right? I, I only recently became comfortable calling myself an artist. And one day I was like, oh, I'm an artist. <laughs> when I started doing collaborations, I would approach some people, but other people I was, I was like, well, they're like, they're too big to even approach, right? But over time, um, some of the people did approach me, people that I had seen in, in, uh, in, in the UK. Um, I, I kind of worked my way into the process for it. At first it started off, I would send somebody a blank door and they'd do something with it and I might see it on their feed someday or they might send me a picture of it when they were done. Uh, more recently, um, I, what I do is I collaborate, I, I send them a door, they do stuff. I ask them to do two of them and send me one of them for my collection. And there's that moment where I know the artist and I know the artist's style, but I don't know what they're gonna do with the door. And they'll send me their door back and I'll open it up and I'll look at it and it's in their style. 
but it's on my door. <laughs> and seeing like that shrunk down, but totally encapsulated, like it grabbed the, the all that I like about their art and seeing it on my door, that's, that's that moment that gives me the tingles or whatever, <laughs> right? I mean, I get stoked by that. I, it's like fandom is gone. It's like now you're, you're one of them, right? It's like you're not watching the football game. You're down on the field all of a sudden and you're carrying the ball is what it feels like, right? And, and you've kind of forgotten that you were a fan or that you, you, don't, you don't identify as a fan anymore. You identify as an artist.